Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review, and today I'm going to be looking at the six new LEGO Minecraft sets. Now, I'm not going to look at the new city sets or the Ninjago or the Friends sets, because as cool as those are, I just kind of want to look at the new Minecraft sets, because Minecraft is my favorite LEGO theme in general, so... Yeah, I'm just going to take a look. And the first set here is the Creeper Ambush. These all come out on January 1st. It has um, 72 pieces, and the set number is 21177. So you get a really cool Creeper. This is, like, standing out right there. But it's not like a regular Creeper. It's an exploding Creeper. So it's, like, mid-explosion, which is awesome because LEGO fans didn't ask for that. But LEGO just decided to make it, which is which is great, which is incredible you also get steve there with a telescope and a stone sword an iron ore some sugar cane a pig and a chicken i've i've always wanted lego to make more chickens because we only got them in the chicken coop and then the new modern tree house but this is awesome this is actually a really cool set for ten dollars which is not a bad price for it. oh it also has a little exploding feature i love the little ten dollar minecraft sets like the underwater set that they made that was really cool yeah, this is this is good. I think this will be a good value for ten dollars. You get a lot of cool figures, and even one of them is exclusive with that creeper. So it looks like you just press down on there, and then the explosion will go. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And then you also get a flower there. It's a cute set, but that's really it for that one. The next one is the mushroom house for twenty dollars. That has two hundred seventy-two pieces, so a lot. But a lot of them. Are kind of small you know you got some one by ones in there and stuff like that it had the set number is two one one seven nine this is cool this is really cool so it looks like it's set in the dark oak biome which is awesome oh we get more mushrooms I love mushrooms you get Alex which is cool and then a spider jockey and it in the skeleton has the enchanted helmet which is nice um, I'm just looking at it a bit oh so is the back opened oh that that's kind of lame but the roof I can't here oh oh okay no it's not open that's awesome wait so it's fully enclosed that's good it's small interior obviously I'm not expecting like a full-blown house in there but they do have a little bowl using that stamp piece which is awesome I like the trees and stuff like that overall it's just like kind of a cute set the mushroom yeah I mean for twenty dollars you can't really complain with this it's not like I can even ask this cheaper it has a lot of pieces and Overall, I think this is a really cool build. So yeah, it is fully enclosed there. Oh wait, what? Why is that broken off? Is that is that where it pops off? Maybe. It's cool. I like it. I I like the set a lot actually, and I will be buying all of these and reviewing all of them. The next one is the Fox Lodge. It's twenty dollars. Uh, it has one hundred ninety three pieces. The set number is two one one seven eight. And this is really cool. Um, I still hate the fox faces. I don't think they work. And there's an Arctic fox, which is cool. I love the fox skin costume. And I love when LEGO does big builds of animals in Minecraft. Like, you know, the chicken house or the pig house. Or uh, there's the creeper mine. You know, stuff like that is really cool. You also get another appearance of the, dr of the drowned, which is awesome. Yes, more drowns. Please, LEGO, make more. Um, this is really cool. So... Looks like you just get three foxes, a drowned, a character, and then fox house. Where's the interior? Okay, so it is. Oh, oh, Lego made the square cake again. Okay, because in, they had the square cake in um in the village set, but then they went back to the circle. But I think they saw Lego fans were pissed about that, so they so they brought it back. And they, is that a new map room? So it is open on the back, and I, I, I'm not complaining about that. I don't expect it to be fully open or closed because it is a $20 set. And, oh, the roof comes off. That's, that's actually pretty good. Um, The roof, yeah, this this looks good. I'm not expecting a full back because it is $20, and if they did have a full back, it would probably end up being like $30. And I don't know if I'd buy this for $30. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's open on the back. That's okay, though. I actually really like the foxes, but, like, this is the problem. That's a fox in Minecraft. And then that's what they made. Or you can even see it right there. Yeah. It, it doesn't work as well. But I, I'll buy this. I, I actually think this is a cute set. And for $20 I think it will be worth it. But we'll have to see in a bit. This one is the Guardian Battle. Um, it has 255 pieces. 21180 is the set number. And it's for $25. 
but look at this you get three axolotls oh and it looks like they have a one by one tile for their faces that goes on top it's cool you also get a new character tried but you get the guardians and an elder guardian which is awesome because these only came in the uh ocean monument set and you also get a glow squid up here which is awesome i love this and the underwater oh, such a good set oh my gosh i do wish it was cheaper uh 25 dollars does seem a little expensive but i think they know people will buy it so that's why they're making it a little bit more expensive because they know they can make some money off this i love the axolotls though oh my gosh look at them those are well made and looks like here they have like little clear pieces off the side so that the axolotls can swim around you and the other guardian and the guardian build seem the exact same i don't see many differences there so that's cool but oh my gosh oh yeah they have little clips and stuff to go underneath huh that's so cool and this figure is really awesome i actually love that lego is finally branching out and while the past few sets have been alex and steven stuff like that uh this is pretty cool Oh, I'm so excited for the Guardians because those were difficult to get. I have the Ocean Monument set, but it's like you only get two of them, so now you get more of them, which is awesome. I feel like if they added maybe one more Guardian, it would be more. No, I feel like that would be a $30 set. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like it's worth it, but maybe if I buy it. Whoa, wait. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to wonder what the color of that piece is. Is it blue? It is blue. In the video, it looked looks purple hmm. but i will be buying this and I, oh, I love those axolotls those are awesome oh so good this and i love the box the box art on this is great oh i love i love this set this is probably my favorite to be honest i love it love it love it love it okay the next one is the rabbit ranch and this one is actually really cool i wasn't expecting this so uh, you get a new character right here, which is actually pretty sweet. You get a bu two bunnies and a zombie with a sword. You get this rabbit build, which is uh, awesome. It's like the Fox Lodge, except for with a rabbit this time. Looks like you get some nice terrain and a cave, which is cool. Um, ooh, an exploding feature. Just looking around at this. This is actually, this is a cute little set. So, it looks like... Um, I'm just looking at... Okay, so the roof does come off, and there's some space inside for storage. This action feature explodes the TNT. Okay. Oh, and then pressing down this will make the bunny hop. Oh, that's like the slime feature. Okay. This is actually pretty. This is a pretty good set. Yeah, this looks like it will be fun. And it's for $30, which isn't bad, I would say. I think this is actually a pretty decent price for $30. I would like to see it at $25, but of course, I just want to see things cheaper. I bet $30, though, will feel reasonable. How many pieces? Oh, I thought that was the pieces. That's a VIP points. 340, so yeah, there's quite an amount of pieces in there. And then the set number is 21181. Yeah, this is cool. I like the sunflower builds, actually. Ooh, that's not the picture. Yeah, this seems like an actual good set. Oh, and they have the little carrot build where it sticks in the ground. I like that. Yeah, this, this seems like a good build. I think these bunnies are the same ones as the ones on the farm. And that's okay that's okay it would have been nice to get a toast bunny you know but um that's all right wait i don't know if lego's ever made that jumper piece in that translucent color before is that why they're including in so many sets uh was it there it was the mush fox lodge i think it's right there in the fox lodge here hold on sorry to like be jumping around i just want to yeah it is and then it's also in the Guardian battle to have the Guardian stand. Huh. Well, the Rabbit Ranch is pretty cool. I, I actually do think these are fairly priced. And then the last one is the Training Grounds. The set number is 21183. It has 534 pieces, but for $70. But this set has that ninja figure, which was voted during the um, fan vote at uh, LegoCon. Which, yeah. And this has a lot of the new... Uh, features like the candle I forget what that that plant is called um, you got the glow berries the azalea tree the azalea bush yeah this is actually pretty cool it's it's a really beautiful build to be honest ah, 
I like it. I don't like the price, though. I do like how high it is, though, because that does make it seem more like the Caves and Cliffs update. That candle is cool. I wonder if that's a new piece. Uh, that is a cool figure, though. Uh, I do... I do like the height, as I was saying. Makes it more Caves and Cliffs-like, and it looks like the Lush Caves. Ooh, is that a trapdoor? That is a trapdoor. Oh, that figure looks sick with the armor on, actually. I mean, they're nice little interior with the soul lanterns and stuff like that. Pretty small interior. Uh, I don't know if this is not worth $70. I could see 60 because there, there are a lot of uh, large pieces in this, like, uh, not really, actually. Now that I'm looking at it, those are just bricks. They're not that big. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the price, to be honest. I think it should have been 50 Maybe 60 Definitely not 70 I will be buying it. Oh. Oh, that, those are the only figures? Those, these are cool. But those? Really? A bat and a skeleton? Come on, even like the... The, the creeper ambush had as much characters. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of depth there. What is that? 12, 18 studs out, but not a lot. Of, it's mainly 12. Quite a bit of height, though. I don't know. I like that cherry blossom tree. I, uh, I'm disappointed with the set, to be honest. Kind of disappointed, but that's okay. I, I will be buying this. I'm going to try to find out on sale, though. Because I feel like this could go on sale, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But that's really it for this set. Uh, or, or let's just go through. This one is awesome. Definitely an A+. This one's also incredible. I love this build. Oh, it's such a, good, such a good build. The spider jock is also pretty cool. Uh, Fox Lodge, decently good. Elder Guardian, or Guardian Battle, awesome. Axolotls, Glow Squid. Perfect new figure. Guardians, perfect set. Rabbit Ranch, pretty good. And Training Grounds, like a man. But that's it for this video. If you like this video, um, yeah, please consider liking and subscribing. And check out my channel for when these come out because I will be buying them because they're really good sets. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.